Okay, so we created um, some schema. So I'm going in here. And what if I want to create a river that going across all of them? I want to be sure my main extension is selected. So I can kind of preview over this. And next, I'm going to create a new layout. And you remember this zone one, two, three, four. So uh, maybe um, you can play as you want, but I want to start begin it from out outside. So I want to go from here. Maybe create like river going around, cut through this area, going through our mountain, and maybe go out here. So right there, we'll be going to all the zones, kind of touching them around. Um, let's go use it some breakout for this. And let's maybe pop up a little bit more. Roughness because small river. And you know what? Let's bring it down, see how it's, yeah, it's a little bit better. Look right there, those areas. Okay, I want to invert these values, so it will go down in the ground so we'll kind of can merge this one and I think this is look okay for now we can go back to our settings so right here our layout let's go to call it river so now I want to modify some properties to this so I'm going to natural and we'll go first we'll go use our coastal so this has helped me set some depth of this effect. So, and this will go the same, same effect. We'll go take water and we can bring this a little bit higher level. Let's go beach size, maybe bring just nine. Should work fine. Let's go with the cliffs. So I want a little bit sharper edges. And we'll give transition power a little bit more. Okay, rest. Um, Maybe bring it down to three. Okay, so we remove smooth underwater features. So it's a level on the bottom, have it a little bit more distortion. Okay, we also set transition power a little bit smoother between our cliffs and water level. We also increase water level in which we can probably come back and tweak a little bit more as we're going closer. But this is, will be a nice basic startup for us. So the next I want actually blend a little bit better but for this i want to add erosion right here to the side so again we'll go to add erosion filter just for the river okay we'll go open this one and you know what let's connect first so we'll go to connect okay now we'll go open this and the same i want to switch to channel one so it will be a little bit more effect applied a little bit hungry except the rock hardness i want to go all the way to one so I just want some lines. I don't want to fill up with the bottom. What's happening right here when we're going, look, if we too much using without rock hardness, we start having a lot of stuff on the bottom. And I want actually bottom be uh, as original, as lost as we can. So when we start merging with other effect, we want to have it kind of covering over. Okay, segment, carrying segment, maybe even less on this one. All what I want, just leave it distortions around there. And we can also pop up a little bit higher. So you can see with applying dissolve power, it's a little bit more effect right this area. So if we're going higher, uh, remember with water, it's look almost like a hot swampy area where we start combining. So this has helped us to bring those edges of the river closer blend with the original. Okay, so we're done with this now. I want to take this and combine with uh, all of my effects. So to do this, actually, I need to set this as a mask almost for every place where I'm going to use. So I'm going to select field and I'm going to contact, connect to our advanced Perlin. OK, oops, let me go connect right here. Again, we're going to connect this to our erosion as well. We have it one more light after, so we have it, this one connect to this one. 
And the same things I want to connect this, which is control to other ones. Okay, so what's happening right now if we go and look? Um, let's go look right here. And you can see because we connected to our first node, you see right here we have it, our river already mapped, connected. But because we did not connect to other ones as a mask, we do not yet have it river applied to those points. So if we go take Verni now and we go take these connections and connect them to those points, okay, as well as Garrosan right here. So we'll go, go back, preview. So look right now, we have our river going right here, see? And let's start going to the next zone and the next zone. So it's what we need to do to connect this. You can always control by using flow control. We can organize kind of create a router right here. So it's kind of nicer looking. Um, and you can organize some of those connections by using this uh, almost like wire management. But for purpose of this tutorial, I'll just connect them directly so you can see what we're doing right now. So same, I'm going to connect right here. Okay, and we're going to connect them to this. Okay, we'll go connect to that erosion. And you know what, maybe I should put it one more right here. Let me do this erosion right. The reason is why, because this is combined, but erosion also help us blend those when the after chooser. So what I'm going to do is go to natural and I'll just put it one more right here. Okay, so let's go ahead, open this to edit and we'll just switch this to channel, base, maybe even less. So all what I want, I want almost them like blend together kind of a little bit. Okay, we'll go 33 and bring this slightly down. It, not that much, but it will help kind of them smooth together all this effect. Okay, and how I said before, because we added, let's just go add right to this point. So you'll notice what we did, we have it on our, our erosion apply, our uh, first problem, we have it a river going through, we have it on a blur, we have it our uh, block with the erosion. That's what's happening, it's kind of almost masking out, doesn't allow it the sand and kind of going inside and fill up this river path for us. Okay, so let's go to main combiner preview. And you can see we have our river path set, which is going through all of areas. So cut very nicely to all those areas and coming right here almost to our swampy. So this one, two, three, four zones and river going over. You can actually not necessarily create river, you can create any other um, path or road and merge them. But again, the easiest way to do it's if you apply with the um, path. And if you want to apply next nested to this, if you have it another one, you can same create just only connect to this type coastal erosion and the erosion overall and this will pass along to next so you can create over more other things if you need to add additional river path or everything so it's kind of almost like nested okay so right here we kind of created and next one on to do i want to output this and um, this is will create a total different map because what i want to do i want to mask my output i want to um if i output i want just output materials for this area so i don't i need to kind of block almost remove it based on the for this and i just want output here but i want output only for that area right here so i want output just for this masking area right in this area right there okay so by using these areas block it areas so this is what I want to do. And we'll go to do this uh, material output by segments or extensions in the next tutorial.